Well today at Dolly Cooper Park we have the 11th Annual Saluda River Rally. It's going to connect Powdersville to Piedmont and Piedmont to Pelzer. In a 15 mile loop, offering a 9 mile or a 15 mile. Uh, Saluda River Grill is a, one of our major sponsors, Anderson County. Uh, Duke Energy, we're just looking to put people on the river. Tr currently we're expecting, them. we're on track for about 350 people on the river today. Is that the most you've had? If we hit 350, that'll be the most we've had ever. I think a lot of people have been looking forward to getting out for for a good reason. Uh, the shuttle service that we provide with Mastercare is really going to help ease ease the ease the distance um, and the hassle when people go kayaking. Typically, you have to have two vehicles: park one at the top, one at the bottom. Um, but we take a lot of that off your hands. Feed you in the middle. middle feed you in the middle. Give you a T-shirt, a bag, and, and raise money for Special Olympics. And the water looks really good today. Water looks really good. One of our partners is uh, Northbrook, Carolina. They're actually generating about one and a half units to give us water from this little lake dam. So it'll help give everybody a little bit extra uh, bump down the river to enjoy it. event today and why this is important for the county well this is the 11th annual Dolly uh, the Saluda River Rally at Dolly Cooper Parks where we launch we you can either get out in Piedmont or float all the way to Pelzer and what a great event for Anderson County just to, to experience nature and our, our lovely uh, Saluda River and experience the Blue Trail and we're just excited to have everybody out here today we're expecting somewhere between 300 to 350 people to float and it's just a great day for Anderson County and what do you think about all the improvements at Dolly Cooper Park? Well, it's been a long time coming, but uh, we've worked hard and uh, Representative West Cox and I have, have gotten a lot of uh, grant money and water rec money up here to do these improvements, including, you know, the new kayak launches. Duke Power helped us with the, the lower launch down there with a grant from them. And uh, we were able to get this, this wonderful ADA approved walking trail where people can 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 put in up top and tube down or, or boat down to the lower dock and get out and walk back up the trail. So we're just excited of everything going on. We're very soon going to be releasing the new and improved uh, Dolly Cooper master plan with that's going to have things for each and every type of person and things for everyone to be able to do and recreate. And, and the great thing is, is it's all free. start coming down here cutting uh, trails that way. Right. This was all a dirt parking lot. Came out one day, there's a county truck sitting beside me. I walked up and said, hey, you know, he's like, oh, you're the guy cutting the trails. I'm like, uh, I'm not hurting nothing. He's like, oh no, that's great. You know, I'm Matt Shell, you know, head of the parks. And ever since then we've been friends and I've been, I got the perimeter trails like 1.3 miles. And there's probably another half a mile of zigzags. And that's all that was before disc golf. Now there's even more when you count into disc golf. So, so what do you yeah. think of all the stuff they've done out here? Oh, it, it, this is awesome. I, and I was super impressed when he tied the, the new deck in with the trails. I was like, Matt, you could have said thank you any better. And what's your name? Uh, Gary Graham. And you from around here? Uh, I actually live in Greenville County. I live right across the river, about uh -huh. three minutes from here, you know. But yeah, been coming here nine years. He's nine years old. What's his name? Ice Storm. Ice Storm. He's like the park mascot, you might say. Mm -hmm. I come here in the mornings and the afternoons because uh, when they started working on that dock, uh, I was uh, in the hospital for two months. So when I came back, 
A lot of good stuff. So you were cutting trails out here when it was just bush hogging, right? They bush hogged it once a year for the rally back then, you know. And there wasn't, like I said, dirt parking lot and a little concrete path down to there. Had the old backstop up there. Uh, big mound of dirt used to be about right there, you know. Yeah, it was uh, desolate, abandoned, and uh, uh, some bad stuff always going on out here, it seemed like. Now, uh, once the disc golf people came in and it got more busy with them, that's when the riffraff started running out of here. The lights came on and the rats left. Talk about why uh, these kind of events are important for this district and for the county. Well, this is important because it brings people from all over the, the southeast and, and everywhere right here to Powdersville, right here to Piedmont, so they can see this beautiful Saluda River that we have. They can see everything that Anderson County has to offer in the recreation. So it's just really amazing to have these four folks that live here, but then also we can bring in outside folks so they can see just all the beauty that we have right here in town. And Anderson County Administrator just said that you were responsible for helping make sure this thing got funded. How'd that work out? So what we've done over the last several years is we have put hundreds of thousands of dollars into kayak access along the Saluda River. And, and we're not done yet. We're going to continue to pour money into that because it's just amazing. It's great to have that access. So that's what we've really been able to do over the last couple of years. We've added a kayak launch at, at Dolly Cooper. We're working on some in, in um, West in Pelzer and in Piedmont around the dams and everything to make this a continual thing. So it's a work in progress, but we're continuing to do that.